web design. It's the art of making websites look good, at least for a few years until there is a new design trend. Soon, artificial intelligence might make this obsolete because tools such as Midjourney can now create websites as fast as ChatGPT can do your homework. You might be asking, why isn't this a programming video? Well, since AI is slowly replacing programmers, it's likely I too might be replaced soon, so the only feasible option is to become a front-end graphics designer. And after watching this video, you'll know all the fundamentals to be one too. A long, long time ago, Isaac Newton decided creating calculus wasn't enough, and so he also created the color wheel, both of which are still used to this day. While calculus can fry your brain, the color wheel can help restore some of that sanity by helping you pick good matching colors. Unlike a regular wheel which can break or go flat, the color wheel created by Isaac Newton has stood the test of time. It was created in 1666 and is still used by graphics designers to this day. This is because it provides lots of versatility in helping identify color harmony. It lets you do things like pick complementary colors which look good together, or find analogous colors which are close together, both of which can help create beautiful color palettes. What about fonts? The first typeface in existence was called black letter, which was used on the first printing press in 1440. They made it by trying to copy handwriting calligraphic used by monks. But these days, we have readable fonts like Roboto, Open Sans, and Inner, which can all be found on Google Fonts and used for free. There is also a whole community that battles over which font is the best, but all the cool kids know this will always be Helvetica. I don't know about you, but knowing all of this color theory and typography information still hasn't helped me make a good looking website. If you want to see more videos like this, maybe let me know in the comments, otherwise just do a design course like this one here. And if website design isn't for you, then it's time to go back to programming content. What you should do is visit fireship.io, where you can find all the best coding courses.